Hi, I'm Kathy Adkins, Ambassador with the Botanic Garden at Oklahoma State University, and I'm here with your horticulture tips for the month of May. Trees and shrub trips for May. Prune and feed azaleas immediately after blooming. Watch out for insects. Bagworms on junipers and arborvitaes begin to show up in late May, as well as elm leaf beetles and larvae on elms. Lace bugs on sycamore, pyracantha, and azaleas may be present. Soak new transplants unless rainfall is abundant. Pine D needle disease treatments are needed in mid-May. Turf grass tips for May are, cool season lawns can be fertilized again. If you did not fertilize cool season grasses in March and April, do so now. This should be the last application until fall. Warm season lawns may be fertilized again in May. Seeding of warm season grasses such as Bermuda grass, buffalo grass, zoysia grass, and centipede grass is best performed in mid-May through the end of June. The soil temperatures are warm enough for germination and there's adequate growing season present to promote winter hardiness. Vegetative establishment of warm season, season grasses can continue. Nut sedge plants become visible during this month. Post-emergent treatments are best applied for the first time this month. Make certain warm season grasses have completed green up. The second application of pre-emergent annual grass herbicides can be applied in late May or early June, depending on the timing of the first application. Check the label for details. Flower tips for May. Annual bedding plants can be set out for summer color. Plant your summer bulbs such as cannas, dahlias, elephant ear, caladiums, and gladiolus. Shake a leaf over white paper to look for spider mites. If any tiny specks begin to crawl, mites are present. Fruit and vegetable tips for May. Plant watermelon, cantaloupe, cucumber, eggplant, okra, sweet potatoes, and other warm season plants. Fruits and berry programs should be faithfully continued during the next several weeks. Late May is the best time to control borers in the orchard. Check for label recommendations and controls. Those are your horticulture tips for the month of May. Thanks for listening and come out to the OSU Botanic Garden for a visit sometime this month. Open houses are the first and third Saturday and we'd love to see you.